Man. Y'all want to know why Martin Luther King had a dream? Y'all want to know why his dream was successful? Why his name still rings today? I don't think many of us think about that. Martin Luther King's dream was successful because his team, his backbones, the people that truly support him, no matter what the risk was, I'm sure his wife knew that the things he was doing were putting their life in danger. But see, Martin Luther King really didn't care at that point if he was putting his family in danger. He set a tone that set us all free. His generation supported him through whatever. And I'm sure he wasn't perfect. I'm sure he didn't do everything by the book. But he set himself out there to be a speaker, to be somebody. Little did we know, this is why we free today. Our generation, it's not the same. If I had a dream, there's probably a few select people that I know truly support me in everything I do. But there are the same ones that don't support me, but smile in my face. Martin Luther King's wife didn't care if he took a picture. She didn't care. Because that picture didn't harm anything. That picture didn't stop him from coming home. That picture didn't stop him from loving her. See, this social media thing got us so twisted up in this world right now that we fail to realize what is going on in this world. You got trucking companies that's been in business for 20, 30 years closing the doors on them. You got all kinds of mudslides going on right now. All kinds of killings going on right now. You really can't even trust a new beginning right now. But we'll sit there knowing. Now, I'm not telling nobody to stay in a situation or be around a situation or have friends that in this type of situation. But when you know that you got somebody that truly love you and support you through whatever you've been through, whatever you're going through, that person wants that same in return. But yet and still, yet and still, here's our problem in our generation. Because Bam Bam like my, like my picture on Facebook, I'm going to act a fool with my lover. I ain't going to talk to him. I ain't going to text him. I ain't going to do this. I don't want to be in this relationship no more. The same person that you know love you, right? Well, do you think that Bam Bam care or give a damn about you being mad because she liked that picture? Bam Bam wants you out of the way. <laughs> Bam Bam waiting on you to get out of the way. Because there's something Bam Bam see in that man that you obviously know, but you still won't acknowledge it. That's why Martin Luther King Jr. was successful. His whole entire team, the people around him supported him. On our end, you don't have that. So it's either you go after it all on your own, or those people that they say love you, get their mindset in the right place, and say, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go be right here by your side. I'm going to grow with you. Or else they lose everything. But don't be that person after you see this person made it to the top. Saying, oh, baby, I want to see you. No. Not this guy. You got some like that. Not this guy. See, I had to get rid of those toxins that I laid around in my body for so long. Those burdens I carried for so long. 
I had to give it all away. Admit to myself that, you know what? You was doing foolish things. You were acting crazy when you shouldn't act. You was being in a point where you know that you shouldn't have this kind of attitude. I still had it. And I was wondering why all the success that I had, I'm still not comfortable in where I want to be. Hmm. You know what it was, though? It was all because I was so self-centered. But I learned from that. When I washed away all of that, I started to feel a little more stronger, a little more prouder, a little more get up and let's do it. In the meanwhile, when it was all done, all the toxins was out of my body. God came to me. He said, now I'll lead you the rest of the way. Let's go. So when you let go of the toxins, fulfill the next person's dream. Y'all both can be great. He can have a mindset to help you and you can have a mindset to help him. Stop defeating yourself. Stop defeating your loved ones. Stop defeating your friends. Stop listening to your kin people that's telling you you shouldn't be with that person. You shouldn't be around that person. You shouldn't hang with that person. Because that person, regardless, between you and that person, you know what that person's been to you. Don't lose it by being a fool or being stubborn. Peace. Love. Let me know. I don't really ask people to share stuff, but if you feel this message reach you, share it. You know what I'm saying? Everything up. Peace.